I just got off the phone with the Rothschild family, which is a billionaire net worth family and one of the wealthiest families in the world. And this is what they had to say. If you're not familiar with the Rothschild family, they have a net worth of around $700 billion by some estimates over $1 trillion, making them the wealthiest family in the world. And essentially they've got started with a banking platform that they started in the 1700s and have developed to become one of the wealthiest families. A core set of conspiracy theories have come to light about this family, but that's not what I'm here for today. I'm here to share my story about how I got in touch with the Rothschild family and what they wanted to do for me. And then I'll explain the ways that, why this might actually be relevant to you. If you're looking to get into investments, you're gonna to wanna to stick around and hear this whole story out. So the Rothschild family became very wealthy by setting up five different bank branches in five different countries and locations. Essentially, these bankers were the sons of the Rothschild family, and these partners essentially became and created banks in all these new, new areas that eventually expanded and became some of the biggest banks in these regions. And this is the initial way that the Rothschild family started developing their, their own wealth and becoming one of the wealthiest families in the entire world. Now the Rothschild family originally set up in London, Paris, Frankfurt, Vienna, and Naples. And this is where they got their initial start to start building the foundation for their wealth. Now to put this in perspective, their wealth, it's almost unfathomable. They own enough wealth, more than some countries combined, more than whole regions of countries combined. And compared to one of the wealthiest persons in the world, Jeff Bezos, who has a net worth of around 100 billion, they're estimated to have seven times or potentially 10 times more money or net worth than that. One thing to note is this is spread out between a lot of people in the family. One individual in the family is probably not as wealthy or have as high of a net worth as somebody like Jeff Bezos but their combined net worth makes them the wealthiest family in the entire world. So now you're probably wondering, why does the wealthiest family in the world, what did they wanna do with me? And how did I actually get in touch with them? Now this all started back because I occasionally do consulting calls with big financial companies looking to invest in online businesses. And this was one of those consulting calls. Normally these consulting calls follow a very similar pattern but this call did not go that way. It turned into essentially having a job interview on the call instead of actually talking about and giving advice for potential acquisitions. Now this individual who I was speaking to was one of the main partners at the Rothschild investment firms. And he was essentially interested in me because they had just launched a new project to build a online business brokerage and the reason he was excited about talking and working with me potentially was because I helped build the biggest brokerage in the world, Empire Flippers, and was employee number four there. He wanted me to essentially take what I had learned over four years of building that business and create another business in Europe, which was essentially doing a very similar thing. They saw my previous experience and saw a lot of people dumping billions of dollars into this industry and they had plans to do something similar. Because they handle and manage a huge amount of money, they wanted to diversify and set a percentage of their portfolio into these up and coming investment classes like buying online businesses and acquiring and growing these businesses because so many people have seen huge growth potential in this industry and today it's been one of the best ways to generate cash flow and to continue growing this cash flow over a period of time. They were very excited about working with me because they saw that they could have me on board and expedite their growth potential from instead of four to five years, maybe it would take them six to 12 months to get up and running. So after that first initial consulting call, I was actually jetting off on a cruise with my family. So I was getting a lot of these offers, having multiple calls with partners at the Rothschild family, but also just hopping around cruises. And if for anybody who's taken a cruise before, we were hopping around the Mediterranean, having a wonderful time. And it was very exciting to try to figure out the Wi-Fi and connection to continue talking with the partners at the Rothschild family to see if this was going to be a good fit. Now, a little bit of context here. I had just exited Empire Flippers uh, about a year. I've been creating my own businesses for the past two to three years. 
And essentially this offer was going to be somewhat of a job. And for me, it seemed like a lot of work um, with potentially not that much upside unless it was gonna be a crazy amount of money. But we'll get to of that a little bit further later. Now we'll get to the actual offer in just a little bit. So basically after the first initial call, I had about two or three more calls with their partners and then essentially got passed off to what they were going to build. And when the call started going from, we've raised $50 million into a aggregator, and essentially they wanted me to have a brokerage that could work in tandem with them, but the brokerage was going to be bootstrapped. And when I heard the word bootstrapped, I knew the offer was not gonna be where I thought it was going to be. So unfortunately, we had an offer. It was nowhere near what I was generating on my own. Because they were bootstrapped, they were wanting to give me a C-class position which essentially would have been like a CMO or a CTO or something similar to that. And this offer structure was going to be a huge amount of equity, which is something that I just wasn't interested at the time because one, it was gonna be a lot more work and effort from my end and a lot lower upside than what I was generating on my own. Because I'm generating my own deal flow, I already had a good structure that they wanted to tap into because it would help them get more leads for buying and selling these online businesses. But essentially the financial incentive from my end wasn't aligned to commit to doing 20 to 40 hours of work for them when I could do that for myself at a much lower pace and generate much higher profit margins. Essentially, there was a bit of a disconnect there and I think I was just too far along to give up all that momentum to start doing it for somebody else because the upside was not as good for me to start from scratch, building somebody else's brokerage and somebody else's brand, even with a big percentage of equity in the business. So essentially it didn't work out. It was really great just being considered for this role, but it's always cool to have a story where I was able to reject an offer from the Rothschild family, one of the wealthiest families in the world. I still am in touch with these people. They're all very great people and there's no hard feelings at all. It just wasn't a one-to-one -one fit. So hopefully in the future, uh, there might be some way we can work together. If you haven't heard about the Rothschild family or if you haven't heard about buying online businesses, I have an acquisition program where I help first time buyers like yourself buy and find these businesses and then help you implement and grow these businesses to essentially generate cash flow and get your investment back in around 20 to 30 months, sometimes lower. In my personal investments, I've gotten those back in under eight months. And if you're interested in learning more, I'll leave a link below where you can schedule a free buyer acquisition call. Now these calls are normally valued at around $2,500, but I'm giving away a limited amount of those. So check the link below to see if there's availability. And if you see availability, make sure you book those because these are not going to last forever.